Good afternoon everybody. It's been such a beautiful day today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Welcome to our practice Wednesday afternoon. Thinking about shoulders today because a lot of you have you know have, have problems in this area especially if you've got to sit a lot through work. So uh, practice shoulders opening up through the sides of the body, some heart opening postures to begin with. Let's just take a few moments to be still, to be with the breath, shut the eyes. And let the day go. Whatever's been going on today, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, put it to one side and make time for you. Even if it's only this 40 minutes or so out of your day, make it special. And then bring your awareness, bring your eyes back and we'll do a few breaths together. So you can have hands, palms up or palms down or the mudra. And start with breathing with me. Breathing up into the tummy, into the ribs, into the chest, into the back and pause. And a lovely long, slow, complete out breath and pause and then come again up into the tummy up into the ribs up into the chest into the back and pause breathe out long and slow and complete draw the navel towards the spine and pause with the breath out and then carry on a few more in your own time Remember to breathe right up into the back. We'll breathe a bit deeper now. Breathing up into the tummy, into the sides of the ribs, right up into the collarbone area between the shoulders. And let it all go, breathing out long and slow. And take the pause. Come again, up into the tummy, up into the sides of the ribs, right up into the collarbone area, the clavicle area, up between the shoulders and pause. And let everything go beautifully slowly. Squeeze the belly in, squeeze the breath out. Take that pause and do three more rounds on your own. Make your breath fluid without effort. Just like you're inflating a balloon and letting everything go. Breathing all the way up to the top of the lungs. And on the out breath, drawing the navel in to squeeze all the stale air out. And then stay for a few minutes, let the breath return to natural, relax. Shoulders soft. Bring your eyes back and reach up and just imagine there's this rope you've got to pull on. Then reach and reach. 
pulling on the rope and it's got a bit higher. Really lengthening through the sides of the body. Now that's it. Well done. And reach up one more time and hold it and lengthen. Right hand grabs left wrist. Let's bend to the right, stretch through the left side. Five nice deep breaths. Push down with your left sitting bones. Feel the space you're making between the ribs. So lovely to make all that space between the ribs. Oh, and we come again. We pull on the rope. It's got a little bit higher this time. We're lengthening through the side body. And then the left hand grabs the right wrist and we'll stretch through the right side. Keep the shoulders soft. Root down through your right sitting bone and lengthen out the waist. See how much space you can make. Three more deep breaths. Reach the arms down, stretch your legs out in a nice big V shape and keep the legs relaxed here. Maybe slide off any props or not. Take your right hand to your right shin and we'll do an open twist to your left and mirroring you. Nice deep breaths here, roll the shoulders back. Keep the spine lovely and straight. Your gaze is at your left palm and a little bit more. And then, then lengthen all the way through the left side of the body. Right hand can come a little bit further down the right leg. Open up through the left side. The palm can come up or down. See if you can make even more space. And you can start to spin your ribs, your chest towards the left. So we're in a side bend, not a forward bend. Oh, that's good. You're doing beautifully there. A couple more breaths. See if you can make even more space. Well done. And then look at that left hand. It slides up the outer right leg and you lengthen through the right side. And just place the fingertips lightly behind you for a closed twist. Use your breath. Breathing in nice and slowly. Breathing out completely. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out completely. Two more breaths. You might push on that outer thigh a bit more to get round a little bit further and make it even yummier. Good. Reach out towards the right wall with the right hand. Take the right arm across, support it with the left, lift the elbow higher and take a look over the right shoulder and pull and squeeze, pull and squeeze. So we get a yummy stretch from the centre of the spine to the right shoulder. And you think it's so good to be, it's as if you're being ironed out between the shoulders where we can be a bit stuck, a bit tight, can't we? Well done. Cross above the elbows, the right arm's on top. This might be enough for you today. Nice self hug. Or you might make fists, or you might do Garuda arms, the eagle arms. Lift the elbows even higher, take the lower arms away. And your drishti, your gaze can be your thumbs or not. Take a few breaths into your back, into the space of the heart at the back. We're not always aware of the breath there, are we? We think of our breath just in our chest. But it's all through the sides, all the way up the back and the front of the body. And you can move, you can have a little wiggle, especially if you're a little bit tight today. And then circle, you can do a figure of eight. If you're a bit tight in the shoulders, just taking time to get into any of those icky bits, anywhere that's a bit stuck. Get into what I call the nitty gritty. Well done. 
is the neck. You can keep the knees, you can keep the legs soft, you can even bend the knees if you want. Let's do a nice big deep in breath, breathing completely and hold the breath in. And then let everything go. <sighs> Squeeze the navel to the spine, tuck the chin in. Squeeze the belly in, hold the breath out. And then we're ready to come again. Breathing in completely right up into the top of the lungs, into the chest in between the shoulders and pause and let it all go <sighs> draw everything in down below and squeeze the breath out maybe drop mula bandhi or root lock good one more right up into the collarbone area between the shoulders and pause and let it all go <sighs> Sigh the breath out. We're going to hold it here. So you may be able to get the elbows down. You may be able to just take your head in your hands. Or you might give yourself a little self hug and rock. Do whatever feels right for you here, but hang out there. Tuck the chin in. And feel with each breath that you can totally let go. We hold so much in our shoulders, don't we? In our necks. Feel the breath in the back. And as you breathe in slowly, you breathe out slowly. Breathe in soft and deep and relax. Breathe in soft and deep and let go. Allow yourself to soften. Allow your forehead to soften. Allow your eyes to soften. A couple more breaths. You come up slowly from the forward bend, still with a mood draw like this. And a big stretch up. Open your wings and come down. Well done. And we'll take our hands down. We'll do some circles here. So you can start to take opposite shoulder to opposite knee. You exhale forward, you inhale back. And let all of the spine have a resonance with the movement. Good. And the other way. Just moving out of the waist. Making the circles even bigger if that's right for you. Really getting into those tight, those stuck areas. Where have you been a bit tight, a bit stiff today? Well done. Come to the centre, relax the shoulders. Take the left hand to the left shin and open up to the right. A lovely open twist here. So beautifully straight spine. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in soft and deep. Breathe out slowly. Well done. A couple more breaths. Really opening up there. And then we reach up and we keep that length as you come over to the left side. Push your bum down on the right and feel the space you've made. If the bind's available to you, you know, that's fine as well. But don't overdo it. This will be all right for most people. The palm can come up if you like. Feel that space you're making between the ribs. That's so good. That's going to help us to breathe a lot more easily. And then the right hand comes out of left thigh and you reach up through the left side and place the fingertips just behind you. And then we've got this glorious twist from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. And you're sitting beautifully tall. You breathe in tall. Breathe out nice and slowly. Breathe in soft and deep, breathe out completely and a wee bit more. Just imagine with each breath, imagine your navel, your ribs, your chest, all coming past your thigh towards the left side. Reach up to the left wall, take the arm across and lift up high and pull and squeeze and pull and squeeze and take a glance towards the left. 
just like you're being ironed out from the center of the spine all the way to that left shoulder. Sometimes we need ironing out, don't we? Oh, that's great. And then this is fine. Or's up. Or lift the elbows high, take the forearms away, feel the space you're making. Take a few breaths into that space. You can relax the legs if you want to a bit more, take them in a bit more. Just adjust to suit yourself. And we can do some nice big circles here. And get the neck involved, the shoulders involved. Then we rock from side to side. Anywhere that feels a bit icky today. A little bit tight. Well done. Let's do a nice big in breath. Breathing in completely and pause. And let it all go. <sighs> Draw the belly and lift up Mula Bandha. Lift up your root lock. Squeeze that meeting down below. And come again. Like blowing up a big balloon right into the shoulders and pause. And let it all go. <sighs> Draw everything towards the centre. Squeeze the breath out. Pause. And one more. Inflating that balloon completely. And one more lovely big. Oh, make as much noise as you like. Oh, hold the breath out. A little bit longer maybe, and when you can hold it out no longer, let it go. And then your natural breath, you might just put your head in your hands if it's available to you. If not, you might give yourself a big hug and rock here. Lengthen the back of the neck, tuck the chin in. Feel the breath on the back body. Appreciate the space you've made between the shoulders. Think about breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in softly and deeply. Breathing out, letting go. Just let go. Sometimes it's the hardest thing, isn't it? to let go, to surrender, that really slow, tuck the chin in, breathing in coming up and flow the fingers down, well done that was good, let's come into a little back bend here, so lots of versions, you do what feels right for you, this might be quite enough, roll the shoulders back, you can imagine there's a little thread attached to your breastbone. Maybe another one to the crown of the head. Or you could take the neck back if it feels all right. Some of you might come up into your full reverse plank. Some of you might take table if that's the easier. So don't let your table collapse. Push up through your sitting bones, push your belly up, lift your chest up, roll the shoulders back. And if the legs are straight, you might, ee, you can't see my feet, but I'm just stretching out my toes and taking my soles of the feet towards the mat. And that's not easy. Take a few breaths there. Use that core strength to help you. Do not claps in the middle. Three more breaths, whatever you're doing. Breathing in and out. And in, and up, come down. Let's come into this little one that I like called Cosmic Air. Give yourself a big hug. Take your forehead towards your knees and take your feet off. And you just rock. Cosmic Air. Find some, find some stillness. Take a little gentle rock backwards and forwards on your bum. Enjoy the stillness. You're doing really well here. So when you come out, put your feet on the mat. I'm going to take a nice big stretch up now in down dog because we've got a little sequence for you. You might want um brick beside you on your left side. 
tuck your toes under, spread your feet up, lift your knees up. And you might very well want to take a walk here. Breathe in, bend one knee, breathe out, hold. Breathe in, bend the other knee, breathe out, hold. Really pressing down with the index finger and thumb and not coming on the outer edges of the hands. Keeping the neck long. We might breathe in and oh, lengthen the neck, tuck the chin in a bit more. Just walk in the dog. Those glorious stretch as you press your palms down all the way up the, from the hands up the arms, the shoulders, the shoulders to your sit bones. Well done. So if it's right for you and you know you can always come onto your knees for this, lift your heels off and take your right leg up, grow that leg really tall, draw the knee through, either step it through and help it or come onto your knees and do this and take it through into your lunge. I'm going to tuck the back toes under and come a bit deeper and maybe put the front of the foot on the mat or toes tucked under if it feels better for your balance. You can always take the toe to the right side of the mat. I'm mirroring you here. Press your hands down on your thigh. Lengthen your upper body out of your pelvis. Firm your belly and reach up to the skies for your crescent moon posture. Turn the pinky fingers towards the front, slide the shoulders down the back. Such a glorious back bend. See if you can lunge a little bit deeper to get a really good stretch through the front thigh. And if you look up, imagine the neck lengthening from that space between the shoulders. Some nice deep energising breaths here. Breathing in energy and as you breathe out, spreading that energy all the way through you. Imagine there's a hand between your shoulders and you can let go even more. Well done, so push down with the right hand and lengthen up all the way through the left side. Make space, that's it. Make space and then we can bend over towards the right. We can come into a side bend there. Good. Some of you with a stronger practice could take that right hand down. Quite a long way to go, you may need a support, a block or a cushion or a book. Always take some support with you, always have your props ready and you can turn the palm up, you can look up, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can sink a little bit deeper there as we make space. Well done, do really well there. And then come up and lengthen, reach forward, I should probably turn the other way but no worries, you, you will still be able to know what I'm doing. Take your left hand down and you may need your brick here. And then we can take a little peek over to the right. And if you reach your right arm up, you can open. Good. So you've got that. A few more breaths. See if you can sink a little bit deeper there. Start to get the belly, the ribs, the chest, all coming round. And if any of you have a stronger practice, and I do give options if you really don't have to do them, you can lift the knee off. That's it, and you can really energise through that thigh. Just imagine that big thigh bone lengthening up the pelvis, surrounded by a strong sheath of muscles. So don't lift up too high, people do that. Stay low, stay strong, firm up the belly. Three more breaths, and exhale. Breathing in, and out, and in, and out, and one more. Can you come around a bit more? Breathing in, and out. Well done, that was really good. Let's bend the knee a bit, tuck the toes under, down dog. So need to walk on the spot a little bit more here. Especially if it's your first down dog today, keep your neck beautifully long. Remember to press down with the thumbs and the index finger. Well done. Lift the heels off. <laughs> Reach your left leg up, grow that leg tall, bend the knee, forehead to knee. Big step through or help it or come onto the knees, you know the score. Tuck the toes under, sink back a bit more. So you get a nice stretch through that psoas muscle, right front thigh muscle. Put your hands on your thigh, push down and lengthen out the waist, firm the belly and come into your back bend. Pinky fingers towards the front, slide the shoulders down. Breathing in energy and spreading all that sunshine energy all the way through you. Yeah.
sing, sing a little bit lower. Think of something really beautiful that you've seen today, something in nature. It's been such a gorgeous day. I know that we can feel a bit low some days. I felt a little bit miss yesterday and this morning, but when I had that gorgeous walk and saw the bluebells, it has really helped. I think if you feel a bit low, you just have to go through it, don't you? It's not easy in, in these times, is it? So really lengthen through the right side. If you can make a bit more space, good. And then we come over to the left. Good, lovely. So stay there. Feel the space you're making through the ribs. The palm can come up or not, and or you might want to touch the floor or, or take your block. Nice deep breath. So really helping us to take a more effective breath for breathing through the sides of the body. You're breathing in and out and reach up, come forward. You might need your brick to take your right hand down. Take your left hand to the outer thigh and start to twist and then open up. You can even open up a little bit more here. Nice deep breath. And some of you are going to tuck the back toes under, but don't lift like that. Stay low. Legs and a tailbone. Drop through that front thigh. Feel that thigh bone really lengthy up the pelvis, surrounded by those strong muscles. And feel your belly, your ribs, your chest, your heart centre, all revolving. So beautiful. Breathe in and out. Well done. We're going to step back into down dog again. Let's take five deep restorative breaths. Now you're doing really well. Good. Take your knees down and come into child and take a moment to rest there and relax. I'm just turning to face the other way while you're in child so you can see me a, a little bit better with this next one. But um, please don't move. Please stay where you are and relax. Feel the support of the earth. Soften your forehead, soften your low back. Let your breath be soft. Letting go, well done. Are you going to come up? And reach up, reach forward, big stretch forward. Slide through, come into your back bend. Elbows in all the way down, well done. So we're going to bend our, our right elbow like that. Can, oh, I'll come back, you can't see me, can you? Gosh, it's hard to fit into the TV screen. I'm wondering whether to come on, on my side or not here. Perhaps I'll come here. You'll have to excuse me while I, I fiddle around trying to find a good place for you to see me. Ah, oh, that might be better. Take the right elbow in. Reach your left arm out in front of you. Well done. And then take your left leg over your right. See like that, all right? Well done. You have to watch I don't knock anything from behind me. And up, up on fingertips, good. Up on fingertips, up on the left fingertips. So stretching out the shoulder. As you breathe in, you're going to open up to your left. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you come forward on the fingertips and you turn your collarbone, your chest towards the mat and you look down at the floor. Okay, let's do four more. Inhale, you get open in. The open twist here, roll the shoulder back. Exhaling, collarbone to the floor and tuck the chin in. So you get a nice stretch across the shoulder. Let's come again, the in breath. And exhale. I'm gonna do two more of these. And one more. And then you're going to hold it. So you creep those fingers away. You turn the collarbone and chest towards the mat. You tuck the chin in and breathe into the space you've made in that left shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Tuck the chin in more. Start to turn the collarbone towards the floor a bit more. That's it left side of the chest towards the right side of the mat. Well done. Let's come down. We're going to do the other side. 
So your elbow is, is bent like that. Good. I'm going to creep those right fingers away in front of you. <laughs> I won't turn around, you can sort of see it from this way. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to take your right leg on top of your left. Good. I'm going to open, breathing in. And exhale forward. That's it. And again. And you turn, really turn towards the mat as you come forward. That's two. And just like a flower opening up and closing in the evening. Petals opening up and shutting. It might feel different this side. Easier or harder, tighter, I don't know. And then hold it, hold it there. Start to turn the collarbone towards the mat, the chest towards the mat, the right side of the chest towards the left, tuck the chin in, some nice deep breaths into that right shoulder, you might even be on fingertips. Well done, come to your mat, just take a little roll from side to side, check your shoulders are alright, check you're alright, take your hands under your shoulders, come back to your knees, so you're still at the front of the mat, I'll come this way so you can see me now, you stay where you are, you're still at the front of your mat. Let's come into a, a little squat here, well done, so my heels don't come down and that's perfectly alright, I I'm quite happy to stay here like this, if yours come flat, that's good, if, if it's difficult for you, you find something just to rest them on a cushion or, or something, it could be like that, couldn't they, we're not here for long anyway, take your hands to your heart, and just imagine there's a little weight on your tailbone pulling you down, and you're lengthening out the waist, draw the belly in, really good one for your digestion, you might stay there, or you might just get your hands down, you might come forward into a little stretch here. It's quite nice to be on fingertips and round the back and breathe into the back body. Tuck the chin in. I feel that space again between the shoulders. Some might even get the elbows down. Some might even take the feet together. I'm thinking lots of things here. And take the arms round. Take a little bind. Hold the back of the heels. It's called melasna, your, gar your garland pose. Feel the breath between the shoulders. Remember, this is perfectly all right to do this one. It's your practice. Nice deep breaths. It's really good to move your shoulders, especially if you've been working hard today at home. Make a bit more space where we don't usually find it. I'm going to come up slowly. Look up, so you come into your forward bend, keep the knees bent, keep them soft and hang out there, rest your belly towards your thighs, take your arms back and interlink your fingers and reach the arms up as you come down, so they act as a lever as you fall forward and then you might be able to straighten the legs or not, it doesn't matter, you're just working your ribs, your chest towards your thighs, lengthening your neck, take a few breaths there and hang out there. Just let gravity, the weight of your upper body and your breath take you down. Feel balance from the front to the back of the foot, lift the arches. Then you're going to bend the knees and come up still with this bind behind your back. Roll up and come into the back bend at the top. Oh, lovely and roll the shoulders. Well done. So we've got a little standing sequence now before we come down to our mats. Come and stand at the front of your mat. I'll come sideways on so you can see me. Feet are hip width apart. Spread the toes out, lift the arches. Feel balanced from the back to the front of the foot. And the arches are lifted. As we get older, we can be quite flat footed. I've got up a shoe size or half a shoe size. Breathe in, come up. And breathe out, bend the knees. Come into drinking bird, straighten the legs, lift up your, lift up your wings, bend the knees, come up, 
So rocking horse or chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Lift the arms high. Inhale. Sit your bum back a bit more, rocking horse or chair. So we're just working the legs a bit here, especially if you've been sitting down a lot today at your desk. We're going to do two more. Really, hint, you know, hinging from the hips. Then you protect your back. Keep your belly nice and firm because that's going to protect your back too. Come and meet me here. And the good news is, we're not going to hold it. <laughs> Come down. And you're in your forward bend. You meet me here. Good. And from here, we're going to come into our warrior one. So you're going to take your left leg back and turn the toe up. Bend the right knee. Just going to adjust my mat a little bit. Otherwise, I'll be slippy. Put your hands on your hips as you come up. Draw the left hip forward, right hip back. Well done. And then you're ready to lift up for warrior one. So once again, turn those pinky fingers towards the front. Tuck the tailbone under, firm up the tummy. Straight the front leg and sink a bit deeper. Roll the shoulders back. Let's take a few breaths here. And you can look up or not. Kick slide the shoulders back even more. Lovely. Just like there's a hand between your shoulders and you can lean back. And then take your hand, your right hand, and push against your right side, just like you did when we were in the lunge. And really lengthen through the left side. So you've got that space. And then you'll be able to slide back into reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. And we can reach up and we can open up here. Take a few breaths there. So you're not straightening that front leg. The knee's still bent over the ankle. So you can come back even more, make even more space. And then we just take the arm back like that, give the back of the neck a tickle. You can ease that shoulder back. So cow head arms. It might be like that. Maybe to reach this arm out, and you might be able to take, roll that shoulder back, do a bind. And don't worry if that's not for you. This could be fine, okay? Just adjust to suit yourself, or you might hold your t-shirt, or you might carry on like that. Okay, let's take a few breaths there. Don't straighten the front leg. Keep sinking. That front knee's over the ankle. The back leg's beautifully strong. The outer edge of the back foot's pressing against the mat. And enjoy the space you've made all the way through the right side of the body. Let's do three more breaths. And exhale. Think about breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out slowly. Reach forward, rest the elbow gently on the thigh. But still tuck that arm back arm round a moment and roll that shoulder back. So we're in side angle. Great. This might be enough to stay there. Some of you will lift the arm up. Some will be able to take the arm over by the ear. Nice deep breaths here. Keep the tummy firm. Push down with the outer foot and feel the length all the way through the left side of the body. So hopefully you're not pressing on that thigh too hard. Why don't you take the elbow off and go like that and see what that's like. It makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? Firm up the tummy muscles. Use your core strength to hold you. And something might open up like that, just like you're holding a beach ball. Let's do five breaths. And exhale. That's one. Keep reaching. Two. You're doing brilliantly. Three. Four. Well done. And know that most postures only last for five to eight breaths. Press the palms down. Press the palms up. Gather to the heart. Step to the friends. Good. Let's do the other side. Come again. I'm just going to have a quick drink of water. You might need one as well. It's been quite warm today. I think we're in for a nice bank holiday weekend. So breathing in and exhale. Drinking bird. Lift your wings even higher. Rocking horse. And again, nice and strengthening for your knees. We're strengthening our quadricep, our thigh muscles, to support our knee joints here. Mm. 
Meet me here. Pinch in the hips and come down. Look up, step back with your right leg, bend the left knee. Virabhadrasana one, first warrior. Turn the pinky fingers round, that knee's over the ankle. Feel the space you're making all the way through the front of the body from the pubic bone to the throat. You can look up if it feels right for you, but lift the eyes, not the chin, lengthen out the back of the neck. Well done, straight the front leg, lunge a bit deeper. Take your left hand out and leg all the way through the right side of the body. Feel that space you're making. Circle the arm back. Reverse your warrior or peaceful warrior or sun warrior. Great. Press down with your feet. See if you can sink that front knee a little bit further. Give the back of your neck a little bit of a tickle here. Take your hand, your right hand, and just see if you can open up a little bit more. Good. So that might be enough. You might do that. Or you might be able to roll, roll the shoulder back and you might do a bind or you might hold your t-shirt. Let's take five breaths. One, two, see if you can sink a bit more, keep smiling. Three, press your feet into the mat, be strong. Four, five, still staying where you are, rest the elbow down, wrap the back arm round and start to spin your ribs, your chest towards the right. That's it. Tuck your buttock under on the left side, draw the right hip back, beautiful. If it's available to you and the shoulder's all right, that's fine, we'll take the arm over. Sometimes we can be a bit tight in the shoulder and that's quite a good one to do. So maybe pressing here, lift up and push away, that's it. Nice strong posture. So either stay there or hold that beach ball, five breaths. One. Two, so yoga is about getting that balance of being strong but being soft, being stable but relaxed. When you let go and you bring relaxation into it, you can be a lot stronger. And one more breath, breathing in and out as you float that top arm down. Push the earth away, push towards the earth. Palms come up, relax the shoulders. Hands meet in a prayer, step to the front and well done. Let's slowly, slowly just hang out there a moment. Front of your mat just hanging out there, relaxing. Let the spine, let it go, let it just hang from the pelvis, no effort. Now let's hold the arms and do a little rock here. Get that waterfall effect again. Spine's fluid, just like a waterfall flowing over the legs and the neck's long. So you're going to come down, bend the knees. Take a seat. Well done. So, coming to mermaid or sage posture, take your knees to your left. Now, I think we're taking to the right. It's always good to twist to the right first. That's a, for your digestion. Good. There you go. So, your right foot's in a left thigh. I'm going to reach up. Through the right side, place the fingertips behind you. Your left hand caps the right knee. We'll take some nice deep breaths here. Gazing over the shoulder, so you push against the knee on the outer thigh. See if you can get round a bit further. Well done, draw the belly in. And then just take our left ear over to our left shoulder and let it hang out. Nice, easy breaths. Be soft. Breathe in. Slowly breathe out slowly. Breathe in soft and deep. Breathe out slowly. So keep your breath soft and gently. So you can come around a little bit more. A double twist here. And I'm going to tuck my chin and then look towards the armpit, towards your left armpit to give a nod. So your belly's coming one way, your ribs, your chest. Maybe tucking your chin in, taking a nice stretch through the side of the neck. Well done. Come to the front, lift up and just sort of wild thing. Oh, 
come all the way down reach up and this one's called animal relaxation take a few breaths there you might take a little one potato two potato and relax soften your forehead soften your shoulders see so if you feel a little bit more spacious between your shoulders Come up slowly. Soles of the feet together. So, a little butterfly. And lengthening through the inner thighs, the inner knees. Well done. And then take the left knee out. Put the right knee beside the left foot so we can come the other way. Reach up through the left side, place fingertips behind you. Cut the left knee with the right hand and you start to twist first. So just check you're sitting beautifully tall. Breathe in tall and breathe out. Draw the belly round, the ribs, the chest, the shoulder. Good. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep, breathing out, letting go. And then just drop the right foot towards the right shoulder. Relax the left shoulder. That's it, let go. Keep relaxing through both shoulders. Let your head feel heavy. Let your right ear drop towards your right shoulder. Feel the space you're making. You might even tuck your chin and then look towards your armpit. So lovely. Few nice slow deep breaths. Loving this double twist. Two more breaths. Breathe in and out. And in and out. Press down with your left hand and we can open up, push the thighs forward, push the right thigh forward, tuck your tailbone under, enjoy that sense of spaciousness. Coming all the way down, come forward and relax and I don't know why this is called animal relaxation, you can make this, we have the arms in front of you. Allow your forehead to soften. Allow yourself to be soft. I'm going to read you a nice little quote that my yoga teacher read. Be soft. Don't let the world make you hard. Be soft. Don't let the pain make you hurt. Be soft. Don't let the bitterness steal your sweetness. Be soft. And that's lovely. Come up slowly. Now's the best posture, Shavasana. <laughs> so do take time, you might need to put this on pause to gather your things, find a comfy place. It might be quite nice to put some cushions under your knees or a cushion under your head, knees bent, legs straight out in front of you. Take time to settle. Time to absorb all the good work we've done. Take a few breaths. And allow yourself to sink into the support of your mat. Let the earth hold you. Let go. Let go. Be soft. And then think of one lovely positive thought. Something you've thought of. Something lovely somebody said to you. Think of something kind or lovely somebody said maybe. And how do you picture that thought? 
or what's been said, visualise it. For example, you might see it as a beautiful sun, beautiful sunshine. Then when you picture that thought of those words, place that vision in a place that feels good inside you. Place the vision somewhere inside you that feels good. Then as you, then as you breathe in, feel that vision of happiness spreading all the way through you. And as you exhale, soften, relax. Breathe in, let that happiness spread all the way through you. Breathe out, soften, relax. And then affirming that all is well, all is well, all is very well, all is very well. Slowly, start to bring yourself back into the room. Are you aware of any sounds around you? Maybe sounds from far away. Add a bit nearer and a bit nearer still. Sounds from in this room. Sounds from inside you. Sound of your breath. And then you might take a few deeper breaths or a little yawn, a little stretch or draw the knees into the chest. And very slowly coming onto your side. You can put your hand down, feel the earth, help yourself up to seated so you can finish this practice. And when you're comfortable, it's a big breath into Prana Mudra. And gather up that thought, that kind word, and take it with you. Keep it with you for the week. Namaste. Have a happy week. Thank you for sharing the practice.